so hey guys welcome back to my channel hope you are doing extremely well and this is your very own mask order this side so today we are going to solve party of couples let us have a look what what the question says right okay so the question says that there is a party right and there are obviously in a party there are stag entries as well as couples right now each couple like like each person has got an id okay has gotten his own id now the couple suppose this is a couple right now if if this cup this uh, two persons are a couple then they will have the same id such as one one or two two or three three or any number right and the ids are always greater than equals to one okay and if it is a stag entry he will add a unique id okay suppose one two three they will know other person with the same id if he is a stag and for couples there will be two persons with same id right okay now given the ids of the uh, persons in the party we have to tell what is the stag id what is the stag id because we have been told that there is only one stag present in the party there is only one stag present in the party and i have to find his id so given the arrays of id i have to tell what is the id of that stag person okay now how will i solve this problem the question is fairly simple today you you might have also observed that so we have to find a person or find an entry in the array such that its frequency is one we have to find a person such that is he is occurring one time only right so for this array you can see one is occurring two times two is occurring two times only three is occurring one time so this is my stag person right i have identified it quietly so find a person or entry such that its frequency is one and all other arrays and all other entries are frequency two and all other entries are occurring twice fairly simple question fairly simple question i am going to discuss two to three approaches very quickly first approach is obviously the brute force approach the brute force approach says keep a count of all the numbers keep a count of all the numbers in the array in the array and then see what is occurring only once how can you do that you can use that uh, you can do that using a map right to keep a count right okay how will the code work so for i equals to 0 to n minus 1 first you say mp of arri plus plus this will keep account in the map and then you traverse the map to find an element occurring once only second approach sort the array if you sort the array this array becomes 1 1 2 2 3 right and then you start from here i and you go up till here and you see i is occurring once or is occurring twice i is equals to i plus 1 so move i here i is equals to i plus 1 move i here you see i is actually singly left i is actually singly left so you say 3 is my answer right so second approach is sort third approach third approach i would like you to put your mind in so i have 1 2 3 2 1 right now uh, uh, if you have solved the problem of finding single number finding single number where in the array all other numbers are occurring twice all other numbers are occurring twice this is a very famous problem on uh, on the topic bit manipulation and what do we do here we take the help of zor right for those of you who do not know about the zor operator i would requ recommend you to study in detail otherwise i'm going to teach you in this video itself so zor operator is a bitwise operator bitwise operator and it is represented as this this is present on uh, six if you press uh, shift six on your laptop you can see this sign on your screens right okay so how will this work so zor operators has a truth table has a truth table the truth table, truth table looks like if one one is present it outputs zero if zero zero is present it outputs zero if one zero is present it outputs one and if zero one is present it outputs one for those of you who are getting confused it is something like if i say five and seven right so 
So how is 5 represented? How is 5 represented in binary? So 5 is represented as 101 in binary form. And similarly, 7 is represented as 111 in binary form. So if I say, if I apply this operation on this, what will happen is it will compare 1 and 1. So it compares 1 and 1, goes here and sees it is a 0. Put a 0 here. 0 and 1. Sees 0 and 1 gives 1. So put a 1 here. 1 and 1 again 0. So this is my bitwise operation and this form is the binary form of 2. So 5 or 7 is actually 2. Okay. So I hope you are getting my point what I am trying to say. Right. And if you want to study in detail, there are pl plenty of videos on the YouTube free of course you can just go and spend your five to seven minutes and you will be mastering the topic mastering the concept right now there are few properties of ZOR few properties of ZOR right first property is if I have a number A and I ZOR it with itself it will output me a zero how can I say so if I say five 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 is equal to one zero one this is one zero one if I take a ZOR of five ZOR five it will be one one zero 0, 0 will again give 1, 1, 1 will again give 0 and this is a binary form of 0. So A, ZOR, A is actually 0. Second thing, A, ZOR, 0 is actually A. A, ZOR, 0 is actually A. Well, how do I tell it? So 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0 gives me 1, 0 as 0. Oh, 1, 0 as 1, sorry. 0, 0 as 0 and 1, 0 as uh, 1 again. So it is 5 again. So you can see A, ZOR, A is A, ZOR, 0 is A. Third property is a is or B is or C is actually equals to A is or C is or B. That is the order in I am, uh, order in which I am taking ZOR doesn't matter. Order in which I am taking ZOR doesn't, doesn't matter. Okay. These are the three properties I will be using to solve this question. So my problem was 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. Right. This was the array given to me. Right. I will use the first property as this. A is or 0 is A. I will say my answer is 0. Okay, my answer is 0. I move my pointer to 1 and I start traversing the array. And for each operation, I take the ZOR of the element with 0. So it becomes 0, ZOR 1, ZOR 2, ZOR 3, ZOR 2, ZOR 1. This is my final answer. How can I say that? So 0, ZOR 1, I can say this this operation, this fun, this as value A, so it is becoming like 0, ZOR A, right? 0, ZOR A and this will be represented as a only. So I have my answer as 1, ZOR 2, ZOR 3, ZOR 2, ZOR 1, right? Now I will take the help of the third property that this is not uh, dependent on the sequence I am uh, taking ZOR in. So I will rearrange this in a form 1, ZOR 1, ZOR 2, ZOR 2, ZOR 3. I have taken this one, paired them up, these two paired them up and these three are singly here. Okay, so 1 or 1, according to the first property, A is or A is always 0. So 0, ZOR, 0, ZOR, 3. 0, ZOR, 0 is again 0, ZOR, 3. And 0, ZOR, 3 is 3. So have I got my answer? Yes, I have got my answer. And the answer is 3. Now let us analyze the time, time complexity of this approach. So you can see we just took a traversal once and so O of n is the time complexity and we didn't keep any extra space. So O of 1 is the space complexity, right? So I hope this the, the approach is clear to you and it's time to move on to the coding area, right? So let's code. But before coding, I would request you guys to follow me, in my, follow me on my Instagram to connect with me on my LinkedIn and the links are provided in the description. Please check them out and let's start with the coding. So my answer is 0 initialized for int i going from 0 i less than n i plus plus answer becomes answer of zor with arr of i and i say return this is the only thing i have to do let us try to compile it and run it so it is running fine for the test case given to us and it should run fine for the submit also and you can see the counter going up and our streak going up 117 days thank you guys for watching my video hope you are doing extremely well and we'll meet tomorrow with a new energy and a new question till then keep coding stay safe have a nice day